Cheers. Okay, here's our camera. I'm always afraid to open them because I'm like, I'm gonna ruin it. I'm just worried I'm gonna do something wrong and I like how it feels when it's new. Ooh, the smell of technology. Actually, it doesn't smell that good. Here's my teeny tiny lens. <gasps> Strap. <gasps> we got a namer. Ooh, a little envelope. Is this like a tiny check for a million dollars? A little velvet bag. I think it is the keys to a little city. Oh no, it's like a hamster. No, this is the mic poof. Cute. <gasps> I have so much to learn about you. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, don't tell me this does not come with a charger. It totally doesn't. Are you kidding me? Why am I reading the French instruction? This is probably boring, isn't it? Oh, it's so cute! Now our camera has a toupee! Okay, so this is what I did to prepare. I made a long to-do list of all the things I need to pack and all the things I need to do tomorrow before we leave. And I didn't do any of them yet. Hope I wake up early. <laughs> what is this? Okay, actually this looks a little better. No, it doesn't. I think it's time to use the new camera. Check it out. I really hope you can hear me right now. I left all the packing to this morning and I need to, why is this so zoomed in on my head? My car needs to be cleaned because I'm gonna probably be sleeping in it because I have the remnants of some kind of cold and I don't want to give it to everybody else. Oh, this looks so creepy. This looks like a horror movie. Are you excited to go camping, honey? Okay. TT. Good TT. What a good TT. You're gonna watch the house for me while I'm gone, huh, honey? Oh my god. One thing you gotta know about me. I'm a messy person. Oh my god, old photos of myself. And my grandmother. That's me, the one with the bowling ball head. I used to be blonde. And apparently I'm easily distractible. Another thing you gotta know about me. I don't unpack my luggage until I physically have to. For example, I went on a trip to the East Coast. I got back two weeks ago and my luggage is still packed. You're gonna discover some ugly things beneath the surface, okay? And it's gonna be cold, I have a feeling, so I need to pack warm things. So I think the weather's gonna be cold. I'm gonna bring a bunch of sweatshirts workout pants and basically just shirts I don't mind getting covered in dirt. Here's my bag, my luggage. I got toiletries and stuff in there and then I got clothes and whatnot, baby wipes for, you know. So we want to make sure we bring unscented products so that we don't poison the earth. It's 12.30 p.m. so surely I'm all done and ready and packed because I woke up five hours ago, right? One thing you gotta know about me, I'm a terrible packer. For some reason, think that even though I might be low maintenance in real life, I'm gonna need everything I've ever owned whenever I take a trip. Pretty sure I don't have a sleeping bag anymore. It just feels wrong to me to have perfectly shaved body for camping? For what? For the bears? So if I'm shaved, I'm gonna be colder and I'm gonna blend in even less. We have no sleeping bag, but we do have hydrogen peroxide. So if anybody gets hurt, I get to be the hero of the story. The sleeping is gonna suck. Maybe I'll bring a bunch of towels to sleep on. Speaking of not showering, smelling terrible, I wanna give a quick thanks to today's sponsor, Scentbird. I'm very affected by scent, so I'm always curious to find a new one for me. And what I love about Scentbird is that you don't have to commit to one big bottle of something you're gonna pay a lot of money for. You pay your monthly subscription fee and then you get to sample new scents each month. Let's see what I got in this month's haul. We've got Ulrich Lang Suncrest, Sanctuary Malayan Tiger, and we've got <gasps> Ariana Grande. I'm gonna smell like Ariana Grande. Oh wow, that smells incredible. Honestly, I like all of these ones that I got this month, but I have to say Ariana's is my favorite. It just smells sexy. They also come in these cute little travel cases that make it easy for you to transport these without spilling them or spraying them all over your clothes. So you can sample them right inside the pack or you can open them up very easily. Just, whoa. It wouldn't be possible for me to make this my full-time job if it weren't for sponsors like Scentbird. So if you want to smell amazing like me and Ariana Grande, go ahead and click the link in my description and use my code Merle55 for 55% off. Thank you again for sponsoring Semperd. Okay, back to the video. Okay, we're finally on the road. It is 1.43 p.m. Okay, we gotta go because Rachel's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be so late. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm driving, so I can't really vlog that much. 
but we here, we doing it. We're gonna get a hell of a lot of Taco Bell. We're not getting there till 8.21 p.m. It's gonna be pitch black. We're gonna miss the whole damn sights coming in. It takes five and a half hours to get there. I didn't realize that either. You know what? It's all just part of the journey. Seal hates the car, so it's been great. She's been crying and crying and crying, and then napping, and then crying and crying and crying. Hey, how's it going? Do I look hot? It's like the Blair Witch. This is my official audition for The Witch from Into the Woods. Oh, someone's walking by. I probably just fucking ruined their night. My soul would probably leave my body if I looked into a car this late at night and just saw this face, this ghastly face floating in the distance. So... Oh no, I'm zooming in. Oh god, oh no. We got to the entrance of Yosemite and then it still said we had 27 miles to go. Like another full hour and 10 minutes. So we're out here, people. But apparently there's like a village with like a tequila bar and pizza place and all kinds of stuff. Welcome to my crib Yosemite style. This is my canteen. That's my reserve water. That's my camera bag. This is my luggage. This is my sleeping bag. That's my dog in a tiny little ball on the front seat. Lucille, you look so cute. That's my baseball bat in case anybody tries to play with me. But yeah, you know, it's weird. It's like as we were traveling away, why is this so zoomed in on me again? Oh my God. <laughs> as we were traveling away, why is it doing that? I'm genuinely jump scaring myself. Why is it doing that? Stop doing that to me. What the fuck? Okay, well, I need to figure out. <laughs> Stop. I don't know, man. This feels cursed. Okay, well, I think that's a sign I'm just gonna go to bed and hope this does not keep happening because this is the creepiest shit ever. Good night. Um, we're gonna sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hopefully we don't get eaten by bears. This is the view from the car this morning. That's just a big old mountain. Look at this tiny little duck. Look at that snuggly little tiny. She slept in my sleeping bag like a good little girl and we kept each other nice and warm. Huh, honey? She's a camping dog. She's a camping dog. She barked at everybody last night. It was dark last night. She doesn't like the dark. She's scared of the dark. And there's no service, so we're just really out here with our thoughts. I was just, I could not sleep. It took me like an hour and a half to fall asleep, honestly. I was just thinking of like everything in the universe, literally. I had to check myself and be like, you haven't been disconnected from your phone for so long and it just made me think of all the ways that I distract myself. It's too cold so I'm not gonna get up yet but I do want everyone to know I'm up early at the same time so it's a real head scratcher. Like you have to be kidding me right? Look at that little peaceful beard. Look at her. All right here's our outfit of the day. Get ready. This is cutting edge stuff. I got a long john shirt because it's cold. This green thrifted shirt I love. Also long sleeve because it's cold. This huge sweatshirt that's like basically like a dress on me, which is how I like my sweaters because it's cold. I got black leggings and then some black jeans to wear over them. Lots of people walking by. Let's spy on them from my car. There's one. I keep thinking I'm going to scare the absolute daylights out of somebody. Okay, look, there's a cute little camp over there. People are doing that literally to stay warm. And I saw some ruffling in the tent. One of our campsite mates is up. Um, but there's definitely life afoot. God, look at that. Jesus. We are just snuggled right within it. Fire. Okay, here's the spread. We got vegan hot dogs. <laughs> vegan got meatballs. Vegan meatballs. Uh-huh. And then what was this again? This vegan brownies <laughs> with vegan sprinkles. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Dingleberries in her beard. 
Oh, it looks nice. And you have dingleberries? Dinglebeard. <laughs> I thought you said you had dingleberries. Oh my god, I thought you had to jump into the fire. <laughs> We're having a grand old time. Rachel almost <laughs> lost her feet this morning to frostbite. <laughs> Lucille almost jumped in the fire. We're Camp Dinglebeard. That's what this is. You should be charging for that. Oh, that's your foot, I thought. Hi, Sue. Hi, Sue Sue. We witnessed nature at its finest. We were sitting here at the table. I was making a sandwich for myself and I saw one of these big ass crows, which I swear are not crows. I think they're cravens, cross between a crow and a raven. And I was like, you know what? I have so much respect for these birds. They're so intelligent. They're the cleanup crew. They're making shit happen. They're making all kinds of noises. They're cool, they're huge. And I was like, Rachel, look, it's tilting its head to listen to the ground to catch a worm. And it starts like, using its beak to dig stuff up. All of a sudden it sticks its head in the ground and pulls up a squirming vole. It just plucked it out of the ground because it was listening to the tunnel system under the earth and then it flew away with it. The one thing I can say makes me happy is that I think it killed it almost instantly because it stopped squirming real fast. I don't think I could ever be a National Geographic photographer or videographer though because I would be throwing my body in front of baby animals, disrupting the flow of nature. Today we're gonna go off on our own. We're going rogue, let's go. You're coming with me. We're gonna make it, it's gonna be fun. Do you have your sunscreen on? Did you put sunscreen on? Did you put sunscreen on? Okay. We are at Mirror Lake, kind of. We can't go up any further be because dogs aren't allowed. Just had a nice conversation with a couple. Lucille was the appeal, as always. I feel self-conscious recording myself. I feel like a loser. Food tastes better when you don't have that many options. No. Today's delicious meal. We have vegan deli meat, vegan cheese, spinach, hummus, avocado, and bread. What a life. And here's a little dog that didn't eat her breakfast for who knows why. Okay, I've been trying to get this dog to eat her food and not until genius Crystal put her in this luxe blanket would she touch the food. Damn, I need to get this dog clothes. Talk about a woman who knows what she wants. <laughs> now she's going to town. She wouldn't even look at it. The kids have left the nest. Crystal and Rachel went off to go on a hike. I can't go because I got, you know. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Where dogs are allowed to go, which is on the paved roads. Honestly, thank God we came to Yosemite for that because <laughs> do not get enough of paved roads in LA. No, I don't mind. It makes sense. They don't want people's dogs disrupting the natural balance out there. And I respect the hell out of that. So we're gonna walk around. There's apparently like a four valley loop. One of our nice neighbors was kind enough to show me. I was actually walking through his campsite because I was trying to get service and there's one spot and it's like right behind his chair, so. But I got a map, so we're gonna do it old fashioned style. It's gonna be great. We've been walking probably like 25, 30 minutes. But I was walking along this trail, which we basically have to ourselves, this little road. And I look behind us, everything here is gorgeous. <sighs> Turns out, um, I don't know how to read maps. Turns out here I'm walking with absolutely no music, no podcast, my phone's about to die. Don't have any service anyway. Pretty refreshing. But yeah, we're just gonna keep on moving. No clue where we're going, but I'm having a good time. I can't believe we have this whole road to ourselves right now. What's your impression so far? Oh yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Oh my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess we're going there. Some guy just flew by on his bike with his wife and was like, that would have been a real long walk. Thank God we have these bikes. And like looked right at me. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I got nothing but time, so the joke's on you. We're gonna go to Curry Village and see what that's all about. And then maybe we'll walk to Yosemite Village, which is I think what he was saying would take a really long time. But he doesn't know how fast we can walk, so uh, you just wait and see, sir. Curry Village, like Tim. Curry. Do you think there's a chance Tim Curry's here? That would be the best day of my life. Okay, looking at this and I have no idea what this means. Tim Curry. Tim Curry, are you here? 
No, Tim Curry. God damn it. We got a quiet little place all to ourselves, except for two other people that are here. You know, there's an 11 year old still inside of me that still thinks there might be a vampire out here that's about to just bella swan my ass. But there's also a part of me that thought Tim Curry would be in Curry Village, so whatever. I feel so creepy behind these people, and I am even creepier because I'm whispering behind them, so I'm gonna stop. This is one of my biggest pet peeves when you're in like a national park or just anywhere in nature and you are supposed to respect the place you're visiting. There is clearly a sign that says no trespassing. They're in the restoration process of these meadows. So there's probably bird's nests and baby rodents and all kinds of stuff and plants that need to grow. You're not supposed to walk on them. And these freaking idiots over here taking photos, trampling all over the meadows. So I'm gonna lie and tell them that there's rangers coming. <laughs> Watch out, there are some rangers down there that might get mad if they see you guys in here that were like coming down. Yeah, <laughs> it worked. I think being out here reminds me that it's really just all the in teeny tiny little moments. You don't have to be doing anything too crazy if you're just being super, super present. Just quieting your brain and just being happy to be able to do this. Basically forcing me to spend time alone, which I probably should do more of. There's so many distractions usually, and I am guilty of finding them. No TV on in the background, no live streams, no podcasts, no audiobooks. Just being out here and being in it. Hello? I'm over here. What? <laughs> 